So today I want to talk about the Sonor Jojo Mayer Perfect Balance Pedal. And this is a really cool bass drum pedal. I've been playing it for the last couple of months and I'm really starting to enjoy it. But I will say this review will not be so much about the actual pedal, like how it's built and the different features and stuff it has. Because Sonor has their own videos explaining all of this in great detail. You can go check those out and Jojo Mayer himself will walk you through the entire pedal and all of its features and components. So th my review will be more of a review as, as, as the name implies. This will be more about my experiences with this pedal, good and bad, and the different features that I enjoy and you know the feel of it and how reliable it is to play for gigs and all of that stuff. So let's get right into that and first I want to talk about the feel of this pedal. So this is a very smooth pedal overall and that's kind of the design concept behind it. This cam right here is completely rounded. So for example before I was playing a Tama Iron Cobra Power Glide pedal which has kind of a slanted uh, cam right here which gives you a bit of more acceleration towards the end of the stroke. So this gives you a completely linear stroke and that I really enjoy about this pedal. Basically what that means uh, in practicality is that you can play you can use some really cool bass drum techniques and you can play soft and you can play loud and everything in between and the pedal won't mess with that. Basically the pedal, it, it takes what you give it and it works with that. So there's no extra force or extra acceleration or anything that the pedal gives you. It's supposed to be completely invisible under your foot and I actually really enjoy that because I like to play with different dynamics on my, on my foot as well as I can. I'm working on that but uh, I really enjoy that fact that you can play whatever you want and the pedal doesn't get in the way of that. I think that's how a pedal should be. Also, I really enjoy the fact that it has a strap glide, sorry, a, a strap right here instead of like a, a chain drive or you know direct drive. I really enjoy the strap because just because the feel of it is kind of more vintage pedal kind of feel, but in a more modern, modern uh, version. But I will also say. Uh, as for the feel, like I said, you, you can you can get a lot of different dynamics and stuff out of it, but this pedal, I mean, if you want to get a lot of power out of it, you can do that, but you have to mess with the settings a little bit. So what I found was, for example, I had to raise the, uh, the foot plate up a bit, and I actually had to pull, you can see this beater is pulled pretty far back. And I, in addition to that, I'm using a low boy uh, wood beater, a custom wood beater, which is a bit, a bit heavier and I'm using it pretty far out. So you can see all of this comes together to give me a lot of leverage because I like to hit the bass drum pretty hard, like get a lot of volume out of it. So you need to kind of mess with the settings a bit if you want to get a lot of power out of it and still be able to maintain those you know, soft dynamics with this pedal. So take some time to mess with that. It really works out in the end. So I know a lot of people are wondering if you can play heavy with this pedal, if you can play loud, and I definitely say you can. You just need to mess around a little bit with it, maybe change the beater, you know, try some different things. So as for the feel in general, like I'm really enjoying it. That's the one, that's the main thing that keeps me, that keeps me playing this pedal because there are a couple of bad things about it, or at least worse things. Uh, but that, that has that really doesn't have much to do with the with the uh, the feel. It has pretty much everything to do with the construction. I like the idea behind the pedal. It's like kind of a novelty pedal, but I really enjoy. Like again, watch this, the Sonar videos where Jojo explains everything everything about it. Uh, the concept and the the thoughts behind this pedal are really cool. I just kind of wish they were better executed. If that makes sense, I've had a fair amount of difficulties or you know problems with this pedal in terms of stability and just in general. I mean, the, I, I when I ordered this one a couple of months back, I actually had to send the first one back because this the foot plate basically. You see, if I lift it up right now, it will drop down as it's supposed to, right? Gravity pulls it down. But that first one I got was basically so tight down here, you know, this part of the pedal down here. So uh, when I put it up like this, it just got stuck. It stayed like that. So I, you know, it that messed horribly with the feel. And I played it for a day and I just had to send it back. Next one I got fortunately worked, but I've done a bit of research and I know a lot of people are having that issue. A lot of these pedals come out, somehow go through quality control and still a lot of people get, you know, the ones that are defect, they have to send them back. So I don't know what's going on with that, with the quality control about these pedals or if there's something about the engineering behind them that makes them very vulnerable to, to that kind of stuff. Because I know a lot of people have had issues with them in the long run as well. So I'm hoping mine will hold up, but I will also say this is a pedal that I'm using this in my studio, like right here. I pretty much never take it anywhere because of the the clamping, um, the mechanism it has for clamping onto onto bass drums. I find it a little bit 
uh, too much of a hassle to take it to gigs and stuff and you know constantly put it on new bass drums and stuff whenever there's a house, house kit for example. So uh, and also the fact that a couple of times when I played it because of that uh, you really have to mess with the um, the clamping mechanism because otherwise it can actually like fold together while you're, while you're playing. That has happened a couple of times maybe two times or so when I played it here and I noticed afterwards it just had to do with how tight and you know the you have to be very precise with how you mount it to make sure that does not happen. And that's just a risk I don't want to have to deal with when I'm, bring, when I'm playing a gig. So I pretty much, I don't bring this pedal to gigs. I use, still use a couple of Iron Cobras, a double pedal for most of my gigs. Just because of that, you know, so you see what I mean? There are these kind of different things about this pedal that stability wise and, and engineering wise, I wish were better. But again, the feel of it weighs up for that, in my case, for having it here on my kit at all times in the studio. I love how it feels to play. I can play so much better and so much more precise with this than with any other pedal I've played, I've played in the past. So I really enjoy it for that. I encourage you guys to, to check it out. And if you can try it at first in some local store or something, absolutely do that. If you like it, I think it's one of those pedals where if you like it, you're gonna love it. And if you don't really like it, don't mess with it. You see what I mean? But I, <laughs> Sonar, please guys, if you could really look into the these, uh, I don't know why there's, because the, there's so many drummers I've heard that I had difficulties when I posted like an Instagram story about this pedal, the first one I got, there were like 10 people that sent me messages like, oh, I had problems with mine too. It's like, why, why is this happening? It's happening a lot more with this pedal than any other pedal I've heard about before. So I don't know what's going on there. But with that said, it is a cool pedal. I encourage you guys to check it out. And that will pretty much be it for my little review or my little summary or whatever. Again, check out the Sonar videos if you really want to see all about this pedal and how it works and the different mechanisms and the different you know, options that you have. Uh, so with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review and stay tuned for some more videos coming soon. All right, see you guys.